Being in valley soil isn't just desert critters or the fungus that causes valley fever, but more and more microplastics. 12 News journalist Kazleen Sakura tonight looking at what Arizona researchers say they're finding in soil samples a decade apart. Over a 10 year period, the researchers found as much as three times the number of microplastics in soil samples from around the valley. In soil from urban Phoenix, the desert, the suburbs, all around the valley. The plastics are everywhere. ASU researchers are finding in soil samples taken in the same locations in 2005 and in 2015. You, you, you do see here like uh, there's like uh, elongated fibrous uh, microplastic. More and more microplastics. Kanchana Chandra Kanthanan is a doctoral student at ASU School of Molecular Sciences, among the team that recently published the findings. Yeah, we think that is a very significant finding in terms of what tells us in terms of like the overall plastic production. Um, uh, from where these microplastics come from through like the uh, degradation and things like that. Not expecting to find this result. Even the relatively uh, remote areas like the some of the national uh, like preserves, some areas did can see some uh, high concentrations of these microplastics. This microscope able to see ones as small as a tenth of the thickness of hair. Probably there's even much, much more plastics that's even smaller as these small pieces break up into smaller uh, fragments even, it's just that we don't see them. While microplastics in oceans have caught attention, ASU professor Pierre Hacker says the research on land matters. It shows an impact uh, that humans have on the environment because, I mean, plastics, they are purely made by us and so we really impact everywhere. And then there are uh, health effects both on the environment and potentially also on, on humans. Colleen Sakura, 12 News.